All right, guys, so we've got the uh, core components put together. We're going to start getting into the uh, wiring. Get all your wires uh, out. You'll notice that there are several different sizes here. So we have three different lengths on uh, these longer wires. We have a, uh, a very short wire right here. And then this is your uh, control board, your sensors. Now, uh, yeah, we'll get into this a little bit later. Then you have your, your joystick. Um, it's a push button and this is the joystick wiring. We'll do the joystick last. Uh, it's optional. You don't, you don't necessarily have to have a joystick. Um, it is just optional. So we'll wire this one last. The first thing I guess you want to uh, start out with is um, this is your baseboard. It's going to be mounted to the back here. Now we won't get into doing project boxes or anything right now, but it will be mounted here. So all of your wiring is essentially going to end up in this location. So we'll put that aside. What we want to do is we want to pick out our wiring and make sure that we have the right wires going to the right motors. You want um, the longest wire to go to the furthest motor, which is probably the, um, the pan motor at the top. So your longest wire is going to run all the way up here to the top. Your shortest one is going to run um, on the, uh, the roll back here because your board is, is literally going to be sitting right next to it. So your short wire will go here. The medium length wire will run over to your uh, tilt all the way up here. And so to do that, um, it's going to be similar to my last video. Um, I'm going to attempt to run the wires underneath uh, here up through this tube. And there's a slot in this uh, little elbow bracket um, on this side. So I'm going to run it through this tube, go down through this tube right here. So the wiring is going to come through here. And then uh, we'll find a way to get it out from the, from the front of the tube. Let's see. So we'll have the wire come up this way, through this tube, come out through this tube, and then back up through the, uh, the shaft here, and then out through the top of the motor, and then plug that in here. So let me do that. It may require me to kind of uh, loosen some things, hopefully not. Um, also remember that there are no ends, uh, there's no connectors on your wires. Don't add the connectors. It does come with some connectors, if you can see that. Um, don't add those until you run your wires. Uh, you're going to have a hard time. So let me get my wires in place. Uh, I'll run the longest one up to the top again. And then uh, for the, the middle one, what I do is I run it through the, uh, the shaft of this motor here. It's a little bit tricky, but you're going to run it through the shaft, come out through this side here. Uh, and then, uh, so once you come through the shaft here, We'll go through the side, and then there's a slot here in this in this hole in this pipe. We're gonna run it through, and then there's an exit on this side of the pipe, and then we'll uh, attach it to the motor here. So that way our wires are as close to the piping as possible. But running it through the shaft is a is going to prevent any tangling. Um, so it's a good idea. Run it through the shaft of your motors wherever it pivots. Uh, so let me get that set up and then uh, we'll get back to the build. Not too bad. You did ha I did have to take the top part off to run the wire through. Um, again, there's just two screws here, so not, not too bad. Just make sure you line everything up before you put it back in. Uh, getting it fed through the top. Um, what I did was I, I took a small piece of firm wire. This actually just comes from a garbage tie. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so I just took the metal part out of the garbage tie. And then uh, what I do is I would wrap the, uh, just the ends of the wires together just like this. And then that would be how I kind of thread it, pull it out the other end. Uh, so not too bad. Um, 
I didn't run it all the way down this tube. Typically I would run it all the way down, pull it out from the bottom here, and then just loop it up this way. Um, I may do that later, but right now I have it exposed for the board. I have my short wire right here to this motor. Um, this one runs all the way out through here. Uh, so I just kind of fed that through um, the shaft here, pulled it out the other end. Right now it's just coming out uh, next to this pipe. Um, I'm not going to, to get it through this pipe right here. I just have it running out to this corner. Uh, I'll, I'll just tie strap that down, similar to how I did my other one. Um, but that's pretty much it. All my wires are in place. Uh, so as far as the wires that come with it, you will have one with um, four pins here. And those don't go to the motors. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull out all your wires. The longest one with four pins, you're not going to use that for the motors. The longest one for the motors um, is going to go up here at the top. That's the longest one. And then the, the medium sized one will go to this motor and obviously the shortest one will go to this motor. So that is that. 